on today's video, we're going to show you how to stream HDMI video through your Pioneer new NEX radio out to a rear seat entertainment. It's not what you're thinking. Stay tuned. A real popular question we get is how do we watch HDMI video on our rear seat entertainment? For some reason it's not working. Well, there's a good reason why it's not working. For one, you can't pass HDMI video through out of to a standard RCA. It's just not made to do that. The whole reason behind the HDMI cable was to limit, eliminate people being able to record uh, in pirate movies. Yeah. So this would kind of defeat the whole purpose of the anti-piracy thing that they put into it. However, not everyone feels that way. Hmm. You still want to be able to, you know, do cool things like watch Netflix or Hulu on the rear seat entertainment for the kids. After all, that's why we have it. Yeah, definitely. All right. So how do you do it? Well, you need another cable. <laughs> As if there isn't enough already. We use the iSimple MediaLinks cable. Okay. Now, basically what this does is it has an HDMI input on one end and a standard RCA input on the other. Now I'm sure some of you can figure out where we're going with this. What we're going to do is we're going to take our video input, plug it in, and we're going to take our audio inputs and do the same. Now what that'll do is that'll now give us, through AV input 1, a HDMI. Now, questions some of you are asking is, uh oh wait, I want to do a front facing camera. Now what do I do? No problem. Kenwood makes a CAC3AV which is an aux jack to RCA, which is this guy right here, has a four prong eighth inch on one end and RCA's on the other. So if you are gonna be doing a front facing camera, you can use your auxiliary input to get your AV inputs. Woo. So there's no excuse. There's, there's, always a, there's always a way. It's always a solution. Always a solution. Now, once you have this, you have to decide, do I have an iPhone, do I have an Android phone? What do I have? What am I trying to play through it? Now, right now, there's basically three types of connections. Yeah. It's getting fun. You have your iPhone connection, which is a Lightning, which is an HDMI to Lightning adapter. You have your new thing for Android, which is called Meerkast. Meerkast gives you the ability to just plug in a dongle and wirelessly stream magically through the unit. No wires required. So you plug this guy into this guy, like this, and more or less you're done. There is a USB here that you do have to hook up for charge or to power the unit up. Well, other than that, you're good to go. You're good to go. Now, the third option is the old faithful MHL. MHL is the older version of what Meerkast came from. It is a wired solution just like the Apple. It's a Samsung piece. It comes in a cool little box. It's white. Now, if you want to find out if your phone is MHL compatible, you can go to www.meet. Like, like meat. the meat that you eat, MHL.com. And it'll scan your phone and tell you if it's MHL compatible. Chances are good if it's not MHL, it's going to be Meerkast. Meerkast is all your new phones. So like your 6, your Note 4s, or whatever they are, or 7, and all that cool stuff is all going to be Meerkast. The new Androids. New Androids <laughs> are going to be Meerkast. So you guys you got one on Apple. Rock on. For the purpose of this demonstration, we're going to use the iPhone because we have one. Okay, so now we have our cable hooked up. Okay. Oh yeah, back to this. So now we have our cable hooked up, what do we do? We're gonna plug our HDMI into it. We're gonna plug our HDMI into our lightning adapter. We're gonna plug this into the phone. Okay, as you can imagine, there's some stuff you need to do on the face of the radio. It's just not gonna magically work. So let's go ahead and show you that. First things first, come over here, click the gears, go to tools, Go to input, output, settings. Come over here where it says AV input. Go ahead and click it to source. Now what that's gonna do is when you click the drop down, it's gonna give you a new AV. Okay, as you can see, it's mirroring my phone right now. So now what we're gonna do is we have our rear monitor playing a DVD, but we wanna switch it to our new AV. So we're gonna come over here and we're gonna click rear. I want to switch it to AV. And now you can see it's mirroring my phone. So from here, we can go ahead and pick. Make and touch it. 
No, you can't. <laughs> Don't tease. So from here we can go ahead and pick Netflix. And Netflix is there. And there's Netflix. And you can basically stream anything you want. Anything your phone's going to show on it, it's going to appear here. So you can do YouTube, you can do Hulu, you can do DirecTV, you can do HBO Go, ABC, CBS, NBC. You get the idea. You can watch exactly. them all. Okay, as long as you got service on your phone, it'll show up back there. Go ahead and sit down. Okay, so. Now, because the unit has dual zone, what does this mean for you? Well, this means that they can watch this back there, but you don't have to watch it up front. You could still listen to radio. So what you're going to do here is you're going to come back, hit your little icon, scroll down, pick HD radio, or you could even pick DVD. You could watch a DVD up here, passenger, and they could watch your phone back there. You could do whatever you want. They put on their headphones, they're watching their drop down, they're watching their headrest monitors, you're good to go. Neat. So you could take that old iPhone, put a data plan on it, or put some old down, fill it up full of movies, or your old Android phone. Uh -huh. Do whatever you want, fill it all up. They can watch all that stuff, all that bootleg. Rock on if you don't want to pay the data charges. Cool, right? But that's how you do it, unfortunately. If you can't pass the HDMI through, it's, life just doesn't work that way. All right, go ahead. So, thank you for watching. You guys can find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. And we realize this video might have been a little confusing. We apologize, but this is what it is. If you have any questions. Yes, please feel free to leave them down below, and we'll get back to you. Um, otherwise, as usual, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a good night. See you later. Bye.